In addition to ODFW's annual sage-grouse lex surveys on the ground, another piece of the lex survey puzzle is our aerial lex searches. And these surveys are conducted by helicopter um, and are designed to locate new leks in a defined search area, where the ground surveys, which we've talked about in more detail previously, are designed to count sage grouse on known leks. So every season, we fly an area of 500,000 acres searching for new sage grouse leks. And these searches are necessary for locating new leks or documenting lek location shifts because some of the areas in sage-grouse range in Oregon are so vast, our ground observers just won't be able to cover the whole area by listening and searching for new leks, in addition to surveying all of the known leks. So the aerial lek survey effort is currently supported by a cooperative agreement with the BLM, and every year they support our aerial searches. So each season, the aerial uh, searches are focused on our priority areas for conservation, or sage-grouse packs, there are 20 packs in Oregon, and they range in size from less than 50,000 acres, like the Burns and Picture Rock packs, for example, to the Beatty's pack, which is over 800,000 acres. So some years we can survey multiple packs, but then we typically end up surveying one pack and then the surrounding low-density sage-grouse habitat each season. And the helicopter survey protocol is actually fairly straightforward on paper. We just fly low and slow over the sagebrush, searching for displaying sage-grouse. The survey starts right at sunrise and runs for only about two hours each day to capture the peak of lecking that day. And a sage-grouse lek, as we talked about previously, is the, is the breeding ground. So they go out in the morning right away early, typically before sunrise, and they get out there and display for the females. Once that sun comes up and you can, you can see them so well on the landscape, it's, it's pretty cool to see. So the helicopters run quarter-mile transects and they kind of grid the survey area. The helicopter stays about 30 to 100 feet above the ground level, so pretty low, so that we can, we can see those grouse easily. And each ship has two biologists, one in the front and one in the back, to observe and record the data during flights. Once a lek has been located from the air, it needs to be ground truthed by a biologist on the ground before it can be added to the database. And that's because the lek counts from the helicopter aren't considered as high quality as some of those from the ground. Um, so it's important to follow up with observers on the ground for all of the leks that are located by the helicopter. The past two seasons, aerial survey effort has been really successful. In 2021, we flew the Soldier Creek Pack, which is located just south of Jordan Valley. We confirmed 11 new leks from the survey, which is a really strong year. And this year, in 2022, we just finished flying the Laos Canyon Pack and had surprisingly similar success. So the Laos Canyon Pack is located in the very southeast corner of Oregon, east of McDermott. And we found over 15 potential new leks in this area, uh, which was super exciting. These still need to be ground truth, but with, with 15 potential new leks, we can expect that at least 10 of those will be um, true leks on the ground. It was exciting to see this because the large wildfires on the north end of the Laos Canyon Pack have caused several of those historical leks in that area to go unoccupied. Um, so it was really great to see new leks popping up in other areas of the pack. And this is a really good indication that the remaining high quality sagebrush habitat in these unburned areas of the pack are still supporting sage grouse populations the way they should be. We really hope to see similar success in our upcoming lek searches um, by air in the next few years because even finding a handful of new leks in a pack can really help with the population estimate as some of these historic leks continue to go unoccupied.